Welcome to another one of my astrology videos. I'm Sean Van Deveen, and I invite you to watch this presentation about Pluto and Taurus. I'll explain how its energies affect natives born with this placement, as well as how it has played out on society in its last transit period. Pluto was last in the zodiac sign of Taurus between 1852 and 1884, and will make its return beginning in 2097, lasting until 2129. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the meaning of Pluto and Taurus, we have to dissect what constitutes both. In astrology, Pluto is the planet of destruction, transformation, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, death, oppression, secrets, hidden depths, rebellion, revolution, the occult, and esoteric knowledge. It is personified by plutocrats, war, terrorism, nuclear weapons, atomic energy, totalitarianism, dictators, and massive social upheaval. The zodiac sign of Taurus, however, being ruled by the planet Venus, is very placid, stable, solid, stubborn, money-seeking, and comfort-loving. It represents commerce, the foundation of civilization, banking, and domestic security. So, when natives are born with Pluto in Taurus, they will enjoy the finer things in life and be stable. But the way they go about acquiring all the luxuries they desire may be done with extreme ruthlessness. Pluto in Taurus will work long and hard to earn the capital they need to secure a wealthy and secure way of living. And they have the foresight to take advantage of financial opportunities others would not notice. Since they don't like to have their routines disrupted too often, they may work a typical 9-to-5 job just to maintain a slow and steady life. Since Taurus is a fixed earth sign, they dislike going out of their way to adopt a new lifestyle, even if Pluto is in it. Pluto in Taurus is often stubborn and resistant to change, and they will spend a lot of time in deliberation before making any life-altering decisions. Once their minds are made up, however, they are totally committed. Since Pluto is a planet of transformation and rebirth, these natives may have to experience a great tragedy in order to evolve. Pluto in Taurus natives are very much identified with the property they own, with their beautiful house, fancy sports car, and ornate furniture. Only a destructive force of nature, like a tornado or a hurricane that happens to destroy everything they worked so hard to attain, will propel them to seek a deeper meaning to life. The lesson for Pluto in Taurus to learn is that materialism cannot be the means to self-fulfillment. Rather, is the understanding that one is united with the universe and all that exists from within. Pluto and Taurus natives are often inspired by others who've become rich and powerful to follow their examples. They may use unscrupulous and manipulative ways to advance their business ventures, and certain individuals may even use criminal tactics, such as fraud and Ponzi schemes to make it big. But fortunately, the vast majority are law-abiding enough to follow rules and regulations in order to satisfy their drive for success. Some famous individuals born with Pluto in Taurus include Winston Churchill, Edgar Cayce, Oscar Wilde, Julius Caesar, Franklin Roosevelt, and Henry Ford. It's also important to note that it takes Pluto roughly 248 years to complete one full cycle around the sun, often spending many years or decades in each particular zodiac sign. Therefore, its effects are generational, affecting not only an individual, but millions of other people. In the case of the Pluto in Taurus generation, it was 32 years, so it was quite a gap. In every video of Pluto I make, I like to highlight major historical events that took place with respect to the zodiac signs they were in. So I'll briefly describe those which took place between 1852 and 1884. 
the information I've collected was from wikipedia.org. Okay, so in 1852, the new Palace of Westminster opens in London as the home of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Let's go. And in 1853, the world's first public aquarium opens at the London Zoo. And in 1854, the Republican Party is formed by anti-slavery opponents in Wisconsin. And in 1855, the Panama Railway becomes the first railroad to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. And in 1856, Dallas, Texas is incorporated as a city. And in 1857, Queen Victoria chooses Ottawa as the capital of Canada. And in 1858, U.S. President James Buchanan inaugurates the new transatlantic telegraph cable. And in 1859, ground is broken for the Suez Canal in Egypt. And in 1860, Vladivostok is founded in Russia. And in 1861, the American Civil War begins. And in 1862, Victor Hugo's epic French historical novel, Les Miserables, is it published. And in 1863, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln signs the National Banking Act into law. And in 1864, Arlington National Cemetery is established in the U.S. And in 1865, the American Civil War ends. And in 1866, the United States Congress approves the minting of a nickel, five-cent coin. And in 1867, Canada as a nation is formed. And in 1868, the first transnational women's organization, Association Internationale des Femmes, is founded. And in 1869, the first transcontinental railroad in North America is completed in Utah. And in 1870, the U.S. Congress creates the U.S. Department of Justice. And in 1871, Germany is united as a single nation for the first time. And in 1872, trade unions are legalized in Canada. And in 1873, the Heineken Brewery is founded in Amsterdam. And in 1874, the first commercial horse-drawn carriage debuts in the city of Bombay. And in 1875, the U.S. Congress passes the Civil Rights Act, which uh, prohibits racial discrimination in public accommodations and jury duty. And in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell makes the first successful telephone call. And in 1877, Emil Berliner invents the microphone. And in 1878, the Tokyo Stock Exchange is established. And in 1879, engineer and inventor Sanford Fleming first proposes the global adoption of standard time. And in 1880, the first electric streetlight is installed, is installed in Indiana. In 1881, the first, world's first regular electric tram service is started in Berlin. And in 1882, Thomas Edison flips the switch to the first commercial electrical power plant in the U.S., and in 1883, Alabama becomes the first U.S. state to enact an antitrust law. And in 1884, the eight-hour work date is first proclaimed in the United States. So, there you have it. These events shape the foundations of banking, nation-states, and transportation infrastructure. The bedrocks of any modern civilization. Pluto is actually in its detriment in Taurus. Yet its powerful energies revolutionized the forces of capitalism. Slavery was abolished in much of the Western world, ending the oppression of millions of people. When the next Pluto in Taurus transit takes place beginning in 2097, another economic transformation will take place. I anticipate a new global federalism uniting all of humanity will be established along with a single digital currency. The elimination of nation states will also void out passports as everyone will be free to travel to destinations around the world and outer space. Mankind will need to enact new laws regulating global and interstellar trade and commerce, laying the foundations 
for a stable and solid economy. So these have been my own insights into the Pluto and Taurus energy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. Be safe and kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next video. God is within you.